able to be back. So as we begin, feel free to sit in any comfortable position and we'll just draw inward a little bit. You can close the eyelids. Relax all the muscles on the face. Just allow yourself to fully arrive. Noticing your natural breath. the parts of the body that are touching the chair or the earth. And you can bring the palms and the hands together. Resting the knuckles of the thumbs at the heart center. And take three slow, deep breaths. Almost as if you are just cleansing your breath in order to fully arrive in this moment. Getting clearer. And gently bow the head as you lift the sternum, lifting the heart. Honoring this body, this mind, this heart. You can even honor the power of your breath, the power of your prana. setting an intention for this practice today. And when you're ready, you can release the hands, letting them rest on the thighs. And we'll come into Dirga and Ujjayi breath. So as you inhale, let your belly chamber fill first. Like you're drawing the beginning of that inhale down low. And as the belly fills, then the rib cage will start to fill. And as the rib cage fills, then the chest cavity will start to fill. So each time you inhale, it's like you're filling up, just a glass of water, filling up. And then as you exhale, it's like you're pouring that glass of water out and the top will release first and the bottom of the glass will release last. So let's do a couple together and then we'll do some on our own. Let's exhale all the way out. Now inhale, filling the belly, then the ribs, then the chest. Exhale, try to release your breath from the chest first, then the ribs, then the belly. Inhale, belly, ribs, and chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Keep going. Find your own rhythm, your own pace might be a little different than mine.
invite a sense of calm on your breath. Good, keep this breath as you layer on the ujjayi sound, contracting the throat slightly so that you can hear your breath sounding like the ocean floor. Now you're able to control the speed and the texture of your breath. On your next inhale, extend your belly and heart forward as you glide the shoulders back. And as you exhale, gently tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin rounding the back of the heart towards the back of the chin. Moving at your own pace. You're welcome to close the eyelids or gaze at one spot. Beautiful, allow any extra movements that the body might be asking for to become a part of this spinal flex. So maybe the head wants to get involved or maybe the shoulders glide a little bit more. Now start to circle the whole torso. Keep it slow. Inhaling as the heart comes towards the front. Exhaling as it comes towards the back. And just feel all those little nooks and crannies. You're massaging all the vital organs. Reverse the direction. Good, slow it down a little bit, slow motion. Eventually reach the heart forward, elbows bend out to the sides and start to gently fold. Just notice how much your body would like to fold today. It doesn't have to look like anything in particular. And just send your breath into the places that are feeling the fold. As you send your breath to those places, they receive more vital energy, more circulation, more prana. Stay where you are, or if it's comfortable, you can glide your hands down and let your belly rest on your thighs. Just do what feels right for you. One more breath here. Good. 
On an inhale, start to rise back up, pressing into the knees. Exhale, when you get to the top, gliding those shoulders down the back, take a few big circles. Good, keeping the shoulders gliding down the back. Let one ear gently fall to the shoulder. And as it's falling to the shoulder, you can hold down your opposite shoulder. So the shoulder that your head is reaching away from, you can always place a hand there. Mm -hmm. Good, and then just let your head get a little bit heavier. Good, and some of you might like even more placing the fingertips on the head to just assist it towards that ear. Mm -hmm. Good. And you're always welcome to dip the chin down a little bit. And then lift it up again, just massaging the neck by having subtle movements. Good, it's easy to lose your breath here. Keep your slow, deep breath with Ujjayi. Good, release the hand. Let your chin come all the way down towards your collarbone, pausing at center. Good, and then slowly start to roll your other ear towards the shoulder. Pause here, take a couple breaths. If you want to, you can assist the shoulder that the head is reaching away from. Or just bring the fingertips to the side of the head, assisting it to fall towards the shoulder a little bit more. Yeah. Again, keep sending your breath down low. We tend to have a lot of tension in the neck and it can make our breath short when we get in there. Yeah. Do a few subtle movements, just massaging this side. Good, release the hand. Slowly let your chin come down towards your collarbone. And roll the ear a little bit to the other side, lifting the chin up. And then it's as if you're scraping the collarbone with the chin, bring it down and sweep it all the way over to the other side. Lift the chin up a little bit as you get to the side, good. And take a couple more, sweeping across the collarbones. Good, last one. And gently find center. Beautiful, we'll take a few sun salutes in the chair. I'm just going to move my chair back. Feet are on the ground. Inhale, sweep your arms with wide fingers out and up to the sky. Exhale, reaching the arms out wide as you gently hinge. Your hands can come down to the ground or you can bend the elbows, placing them on the knees and fold.
On an inhale, press into the feet, reaching into cactus arms. So reach the arms from the knees out and then up, and you're leaning forward slightly. I don't know if you can see the angle of my body, but you're strengthening the back here. On your next inhale, reach it all the way up. And fold to one side, doesn't matter which. Inhale up to center. Exhale, other side. Inhale, reaching up. Palms touch, bringing them down through the center. Again, inhale, reaching out and up. Exhale, tuck your belly button, drawing your belly button towards the spine as you hinge and fold. Take a full breath here in the fold. When you're ready, press into your feet, reaching out and bending the elbows into cactus. You're leaning forward slightly. Keep tucking that belly button towards the spine. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale to one side. Good, inhale. Exhale, other side. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale. Now bring your right knee into your hands, sitting nice and tall as you squeeze the right knee in towards the body, rolling out the right ankle. Let your shoulders glide down the back. You're using your core to be here. Good, release the right foot, inhale, reach it up. Palms touch, exhale, bring that energy down. Hug the left knee in. Sitting up nice and tall, shoulders glide down the back, hugging the knee in as you roll out the ankle. And can you slow the breath down? Inviting a sense of calm again to ride the breath. Let it down, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, get taller, press through the feet, through the sitting bones as you extend, reaching forward and folding. On an inhale, press into the feet, reaching out and then coming into cactus arms. Draw that belly button towards the spine. Inhale, reach it up. Now keep reaching up as one arm comes down, reach the other arm up even higher and then even more to the side. Inhale to center. Exhale, other side. Good, inhale, center. Exhale, bring it down. Peaceful energy coming through the body. Hug your right knee in. Good, inhale, extending your right foot forward with the hands. Good, now point the toes as you draw the right knee in, get even taller. Inhale. Reaching out through the heel, exhale, point the toes, hug it in. 
Three more. Building strength in the whole body. At the same time, building flexibility. Good, let the right foot down. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale. Draw that left knee in. When you're ready, flex the foot, reach it out, standing out through the heel. Exhale, point the toes, draw it in, get even taller. Yeah, feel that length in your spine. Two more. Let it down. Inhale, reach it up. Last one, exhale, fold. Slow breath in the fold. Inhale up into cactus. Exhale, tuck your belly button a little bit more. Inhale, reach it up. Good, stay here as you open the legs, scooch back a little bit in your chair. Okay, ready? To one side, let one forearm rest on the leg, other arm reaches up and over. Stay here for a breath. On an inhale, coming up through center. Exhale, other side. And take a full breath. Inhale to center. Exhale, arms open wide and come to the knees as you fold. And you might stay right here. This might be enough for you. You can always inch those toes forward just to keep your balance. If you'd like to touch the floor, you're welcome to do that. You're welcome to hang. But you're just finding what feels right for you today. Maybe you just traveled, maybe you didn't digest very well last night, all of those things will affect how your body is able to move. Now see if you can deepen your breath a little bit in the pose. Let's all bring our hands to the knees. Good, and scoop the heart side to side. So you can kind of come down through center and then shine it to the side and vice versa. Good, if it's comfortable, take a few big circles. Yeah, so you're scooping down through center and then you're trying to press your middle back towards the chair. Other way. Good. 
and bring it up to center. Take a deep inhale with me. Exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Again, deep inhale. Sigh it out. <sighs> One more. <sighs> Let the eyelids close, just feel the afterglow from all that we've done. Tuning into your body. And remember your intention. Gently inch your feet together. Lean it forward and let's come up to standing. Bring your chair to the front of your mat with the seat facing you. Good, and just stand a few inches away from your chair. So you have a little bit of space between your legs and the front of the seat. Just let your arms hang down by your sides and mounted with the palms facing forward. And if you'd like to, you can practice spreading the toes. It might just be the thought of spreading your toes. Remember, our body follows our mind. So even if you're just picturing yourself doing something, it will still, it will still be working on you. Now make sure your knees are soft, they're not locked. And let's come back to the breath. Pick one spot in front of you to gently gaze as if you're gazing through the lens of the eyes. All the muscles on the face soften. And allow the dome of the mouth to rise. The roof of the mouth relaxes upward. Feeling yourself open in this mountain pose. On your next inhale, sweep the arms out and up. You can even gaze up at the top. Exhale, hinging at your hips, reach your sitting bones back as your arms reach wide and they come all the way down to the seat of the chair. Let your brow point touch the chair. On an inhale, press into the seat with your hands and gaze forward, flat back. Exhale, walk your feet back into downward facing dog. Reach your sitting bones back over your heels, stretching out your spine. And allow your heart and head to melt. Really let the back of the neck relax. You can even nod the head yes. Shake it no. On an inhale, you're always welcome to stay here in downward dog. If you'd like to come into plank, then ride your inhale forward so your heart comes over your hands. Good, press back through the heels of your feet. Stay here or let your hips drop, lifting your heart. Up dog. Keeping the knees soft, let's sink back into down dog.
One step at a time, walk the feet up to meet the hands, coming into a flat back. Good, now exhale, letting the head bow. Inhale, pressing into your feet, reach the arms out and up. Good, and this time your palms touch. Exhale, bring them down to your heart center. Keep your breath, let's add to it. On an inhale, reaching out and up. Exhale, reaching out to the sides as you hinge at the hips. Beautiful, bowing down. Inhale, press into the hands, gazing forward. Exhale, downward facing dog, walk it back. Stay here or inhale, high plank. Exhale, hips drop, heart lifts. When you're ready, downward dog. Let's bend the knees and draw your left heel towards your right foot. So you can see my left foot here is at a 45 degree angle. Step your right foot forward. So your back foot is at a 45 degree angle. Your right foot is forward. Try to line up your heels. So if you were to draw a line from your front heel back, it should touch your back heel. Good. So your foot shouldn't be way out to the side. It should be right lined up. Good, now come up onto your fingertips. Press into both feet, tuck your tailbone, lift your heart, reach the arms out and up. Good, now sink into your legs. Draw your front rib cage a little bit back towards your spine. Warrior one. Good, feel the breath. Start to draw your left hip back. Your heart turns to the side, the long edge of your mat. Reach the arms over each foot. Good, glide your shoulders down the back. Your right fingertips should be reaching towards your chair and your left fingertips are reaching back. Good, and now turn your gaze over your front fingertips. Beautiful, straighten your front knee. And when you're ready, bend in. On an inhale, straighten. Good, exhale, bend in. One more time. Bring your back hand to your back hip. Flip your front palm up and stretch it up, reaching it up to the sky. And bring both hands all the way down to the seat. Come onto the ball of your back foot and step it back, downward dog, walk it out, bending one knee and then the other. Good. Good, now bend both knees. Draw your right heel towards your left foot. Your right foot will end up at a 45 degree angle. Step your left foot forward. And just check your feet. Your heels should be lined up if you drew a straight line back. Beautiful, come up onto your fingertips. Ride your inhale as you reach out and up, tucking the tailbone, lifting the heart, drawing your front rib cage a little bit back towards your spine. 
Good, shoulders let go. Yeah, take a breath. And take one more breath. Notice your right hip start to draw your right hip back. Your heart will open towards the long edge of your mat. Your front hand will reach towards the chair. Your back hand will reach towards the back of your mat. Warrior two. Inhale, straighten your front knee. Exhale, bending in. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Pressing down through both feet. Bring your back hand to rest on your hip. Flip your front palm up and reach it up. Peace pose. And lower both hands to the seat of the chair. Come onto the ball of your back foot. Step it back. Let your heart melt, let your head completely let go. Any stress or tension literally falls out of the crown of the head. Stay here or inhale, high plank. Good, remember in high plank, you're reaching back through the heels of your feet. Good, stay here or drop the hips, lift the heart. Take a deep inhale once you get in. When you're ready, down dog. Good job, everyone. Let's sigh it out. One step at a time, walk it up, flat back, and gently bow. Pressing into the feet, ride your inhale out and up. Palms touch, exhale, bring them to the heart. Good, now we'll flow through that a little bit more fluidly. And then we'll come into our resting pose. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, hinging. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, hips drop, heart lifts. Inhale here. Exhale, down dog. Bend the knees. Draw your left heel to your right foot. Lean on it. Step your right foot up. One inhale, reaching up. Good. Exhale, draw that left hip back reaching the hands over each foot. Gazing towards the front, inhale, straighten the knee. Exhale, bending in. Bring your back hand to rest on the hip. Flip your front palm up, reach it up. Exhale, slowly bring both hands all the way back to the chair. Step back, downward dog. Good. 
drawing your right heel to your left foot, lean on it. Step your left foot up to the chair. Press into those feet, ride your inhale all the way up. Good, exhale, draw that right hip back, opening the hands over each leg. Inhale, straighten the front knee. Exhale, gently bending in. Right hand comes to your, your hip, the back hip. Flip your front palm up, reach it up. As if you're in slow motion, bring the hands all the way back to the chin. Step back. Stay here or inhale, last plank pose. Stay here or exhale, drop the hips. Inhale, lifting up through the heart. When you're ready, downward dog. Tiptoe the feet up, flat back. Exhale, folding. Press into the feet, inhale, reaching all the way out. And Palms touch, bringing them to the heart. And gently bow the head. Open your ears to listening, fully arriving in this moment. Releasing the hands into mountain. Allowing your gaze to move through the eyes. Notice how you'd like to spend Shavasana, final resting pose. You're welcome to relax seated in the chair. Or you can lie down on your back. You're also welcome to lie down on the back and rest the legs up in the chair. So once you get in, to whichever pose you've chosen, just make any little adjustments that the body might need in order to be fully comfortable. The more comfortable that you are, the more you'll be able to fully relax and let go. And the more we're able to let go, the more the benefits can flow freely through the body. So if you think of a river that has no resistance, everything can flow really well. And then if you dam it up, that's a little bit different, right? It might pool or circulate in certain areas, which is fine too. 
But in this pose, we are looking for zero resistance. So see if you can relax all the pieces of the body that are touching the chair and the earth. Really allow gravity to embrace you and hug you. And now allow all of the parts of the body that are not touching the chair or the earth to sink and get a little bit heavier. Surrendering the breath. Surrendering all effort. Allowing the lips to gently part. I'll sing you a blessing here and then we'll rest in silence. Om Namah Shivaya Gurave Sat Chirananda Muritaya Nishprapanchaya Shantaya Nidalambaya Tejasa Om Namah Shivaya Gurave Sat Chirananda Muritaya Nishprapanchaya Shantaya Niralambaya Tejasa Om Shanti Shanti
you continue to rest as we close out. Otherwise, you can begin to deepen your breath. And gently wiggling fingers and toes. And if you're laying on the ground, you can roll to one side. And just gently make your way to see. the palms against each other. And then let them face forward. Imagine all of us in a circle, all 11 or 12 of us. And just send this good energy into the center of our circle. May everyone's practice today reap the benefits that they asked for in their intentions. May we all experience good health wellness, happiness, clarity, anything else positive, go ahead and just send it in there. Good, and imagine us in this big circle filled with light. Let's keep that feeling and that imagery of light going as you bring the palms together at the heart. May the benefits of this practice continue throughout our week. Namaste means the light in me recognizes and honors the light in you. And so we say together, Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here today.